we're dealing with, 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 with realms, the spiritual realm, it's, it's, it's all around us, man. Right? He said he saw a fourth individual in there. He's, there was only three. Went in. He saw a fourth one in there. Yeah, three went in. Three went in there, but he saw a fourth one in there. How'd that fourth one get in there? <laughs> So when, and when we go through this too, when we go through this furnace of adversity, kind. you don't think yeah. that you're gonna have an angel with you? Right. If you have the elect, yeah. the angel's gonna be there. You ain't, you ain't gotta see him. Yeah. Yeah. Just know he's right there. Right. You know? That's how you gotta be thinking. Hey, 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 hey. The Lord opened your eye up to see an actual angel, you probably bug bug the hell out. Mm -hmm. you, you will bug out okay. actually. In an account that they had uh, somebody see an angel, they had the uh what the, 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 the donkey the donkey yeah, that seen it? Yeah, that was a uh, Balaam Balak. Yeah, yeah. He seen it first. The donkey, the donkey saw him first. He saw him standing with that sword in his yeah, head. He, he kept trying to turn off the road. Hey, he, the, the donkey was bugged out. Yeah. To the point that the Most High made the donkey. You got it? Got the uh, no, I got, I got something else. It made the donkey speak. Yeah. How much of a miracle is that? Judges <laughs> <laughs> 13 and 5. For lo, thou shalt receive and bear a son, and no razor shall come on his head. Mm -hmm. Samson. Yeah. 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 For the child shall be a Nazarite unto the Most High, Yahweh, from the womb. And he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hand of the Philistines. Then the woman came and told her husband, saying, A man of the Most High came unto me, and his countenance was like the countenance of an angel of God, very terrible. But I asked him not whence he was, neither, to, he, neither told he me his name. He came to deliver that message. She made note of his counsel, though. Know, Excuse me. That he wasn't coming to play no game. He came to deliver that message with a terrible look on his face, man. Scared the mess out of him. And then, uh, then his when, when they first when they had the encounter with the angel, when they recognized that it was an angel, they fell to their face. Yep. Yep. John did that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. John the Baptist. I mean, not John the Baptist. They'll fall right down to their face, man. Yeah. Like, oh shit. They see the yeah, power, they see the, 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 the shine, the glow from the angels. That was, um, I believe that's in, uh, you said we are the fellow, uh, fellow Sir. brethren. Yeah, fellow servants. Sir, servants. Didn't that also happen to, um, during Jericho, when, um, Joshua was praying, and, uh, the angel, the captain yeah, of the, the captain host. of the host, that I was actually, shot. I was shot. Kind of, yeah. I was shot right there, he bowed down too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people freak out when they see, they think they see a shadow in the corner of their eye. Yeah. How much more an angel, man? <laughs> That's a spirit. Uh, Somebody needs to let some air. Yeah, we'll go back to that. Yeah. You got something on this? Because I want to get into that prayer. We can get to it after, after we read that. I was on verse 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, verse 24, it says, then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste, spake, and said unto his counselors, That now we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire. Wait, wait, they were they were bound up. How is they loose? But there's a fourth in there also. <laughs> and they have no hurt. I don't hear no screaming. You know, I don't hear I don't you know the grunting and the uh, uh, you know when somebody's on fire they yeah. total just agonizing pain. But you feeling that man as soon as you get popped from, from grease you ah, you're too close to a candle. Come you know man. Uh, instant. Yeah. Oh, shit. Early. Yeah. You know? Exceeding hot, the people that put you in, burnt up and died? God. Yeah, <laughs> hey, man. That's, the Lord's going to be with us yeah. like that, man. Yeah. The Lord's going to be with us, man. This is how he's going to keep us through the hour of temptation. Mm -hmm. All right? He's going to, he's, 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 he's,
he's going to keep us, meaning what? What does that word keep mean? It means to be a guard over him. Preserve. To preserve. And this uh, fiery furnace is a comparative to the cross. A physical tribulation of the Catholic Union also. The land of the Lord will physically be there with them. And to, to land back off what you're saying, too, because you brought up the fact how the men that fed the fire, they were the ones that were judged, right? Mm -hmm. Because the scriptures say, and the most high will be an adversary into your adversary. Mm -hmm. Right? So their, their duty or their job was to basically be a catalyst of what killed you. So Yahweh Bashim Shah made sure that they were killed by the same catalyst when we read the scripture and uh, it shall fall upon their own head. Hey, didn't the quadrant that put, was that Peter in prison? Was, was that Peter that broke out, right? Was yeah. That got him out? Didn't they get killed? If I, if I um, I know one of them said, don't kill me, uh, you know, because he, he believed. Right. I brought it up because I was thinking about Booker Eli. He killed the guy that, that Eli got out. Oh, that guy oh yeah. You know, but I remember we saw the movie that the person brought the dog. Yeah, that's the first one. The answer is said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the fourth of in the form of the fourth, it's like the Son of God. <laughs> I was shy, man. I was shy everywhere, boy. He, he, he had his cameos, man. All, all too well. Pillar of smoke. Uh, yeah. Everywhere. Showing you that what? He, he, he's a savior, man. He's kind. He's always that savior. You know? Yeah, that's how it was. Hey, it's, and some brothers don't actually feel whatever uh, trial that they're going to undergo. They're gonna feel that the, the comforter upon them to be able to endure that trial. You know, mm -hmm. like like when uh when, when, when Stephen was getting uh, stolen, mm -hmm. the comforter was on him that moment. He wasn't even worried about the, 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 the stone hitting him. All he could think about was when he saw the the, the, the heavens open up. Right. He saw the glory of Yahweh shine sitting on the right hand of the Most High. He saw the Most High. Yeah. And it's in your house shot. What more comfort do you? Huh. It's all you need. That you can't see is now brought forth and proven to him in the So you already know that that, that took away the, the, the yeah. pain. Kind. I mean, he was. I'm sure he was feeling it, but he didn't. Like when you're in the spirit, you ain't even concerned with it. No. The same thing that happened to uh, the Mexicans. Huh. The they were. They said, "Hey, the Mexicans after seeing their brothers killed." They're ready to die. Yeah. So let me read this right quick. This is uh, the prayer of the Son of the Three Holy Children. It says, it says, we're following after the third, in the third chapter of Daniel, after this place, and they walk in the midst of the fire, praising. <laughs> Jake, man. Praise Yahweh and blessing the Lord. That which follows is not in Hebrew to read Isaiah 23 chapter picks up that. It says, um, yep, it says, uh, then Azarias uh, stood up and prayed on this matter and opened his mouth in the midst of the fire. Blessed art thou, O Lord Yahweh of our fathers, thy name is is worship of worthy to be praised and glorified forevermore. For thou art, art righteous in all the things that thou hast done unto us, yea, truly are all thy works, thy ways are right, and all thy judgments are true. They accepted the fact that they were going through that. You know, so we have to accept that we have to take on the, at least the fiery furnace. That's why that precept that you had goes well. They'd be baptized, cleansed with it. What was the prophet that said, I will, uh, I will bear the indignation of the Lord? Yes. Uh, okay, I'll let you find it, right? Yeah, yeah something like that, yeah, I think right? Michael. Yeah, Michael. I will bear the indignation of the Lord. Michael 7. Mm -hmm. yeah. Want me to keep reading or you want me to read that? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Verse, uh, verse uh, 4, yeah, it says, In all the things... This quoted, uh, I guess it says the precept to that right there, is Psalm 25 to 10. Anyway, it says, uh, 
and all the things that thou hast brought upon us and upon the holy city of our fathers, even Jerusalem, thou hast executed true judgment. For according to truth and judgment didst thou bring all these things upon us because of our sins. Yeah. For we have sinned and committed iniquity, departing from thee. And all things we have trespassed, and not obeyed thy commandments, nor kept them, neither done as thou hast commanded us. That that's them acknowledging uh, their, 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 their Yep, sense, acknowledging their offenses, yep. And that's what the Lord looks upon, man. You know, humility and acknowledgement of your punishments. Hey, to, to uh, repent, you have to acknowledge what you, where you are. Turn. Uh, the brother I quote, uh, just, uh, just uh, mentioned it about uh, Micah, I will bear the indignation because I have sinned against him. Mm -hmm. That's why he said that. Mm -hmm. you know? That's what we're saying. Okay. Okay. We, we acknowledge the fact. We, hey, we're not exalted in pride because we have this not with us. We're humbling ourselves because exactly. we have sinned and, 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 you know, and you still show mercy. So we have to. This is now our duty to do. Exactly. Right? Uh, it says, um, yeah, it says, for we have sinned and committed, verse 5, for we have sinned and committed iniquity, departing from thee, and all things we have trespassed, and not obeyed thy commandments, nor kept them, neither done as thou hast commanded us, that it might go well with us. Therefore, all that thou hast brought upon us, and everything that thou hast done to us, thou hast done in true judgment. And thou didst deliver us into the hands of lawless enemies, most hateful forsakers of the Most High, and to an unjust king, and the most wicked in all the world. <laughs> that applies now. Hell right? yeah. And now we cannot open our mouths because we become ashamed. We are become ashamed and reproach to thy servants and to them that worship thee. Yet deliver us not up wholly for thy namesake, neither just annul thou thy covenant. Meaning don't don't uh judge us basically because we fucked up. You know? He said remember basically remember the covenant that you made with us. Mm -hmm. Don't utterly destroy us. Yeah. You made a covenant with us. Yep. The same thing Abraham said. Huh. He's about to say it right here, huh. right? And cause not thy mercy to depart from us for thy beloved Abraham's sake. Oh yeah. Come on. For thy servant Isaac's sake. Ooh, ooh, real quick. Yeah. Real quick. <laughs> Jeremiah 14 and 20. It says, We acknowledge, O Yahweh, our wickedness and the iniquity of our fathers, for we have sinned against thee. Do not abhor us for thy name's sake. Do not disgrace the throne of thy glory. Remember, break not thy covenant with us. Right. Mm -hmm. I'll read back up to that. Verse 10 again, it says, Yet deliver us not up for Deliver us not up wholly for thy name's sake, neither just annul thou thy covenant. And because thy not and cause not thy mercy to depart from us for thy beloved Abraham's sake, for thy servant Isaac's sake, and for thy holy Israel's sake. Uh, showing you that the Lord would never do away with, with his people. No matter how angry Israel make the most high, because he's bound by his word and, and his agreements. You could, he can never cast away his people. Right. He can't utterly destroy his people no matter how angry he gets with them. He said he wouldn't. Because he said he would never do it. So he, instead, he just put us through the scourge. Put us through the fire, man, in adversity. And he leave that remnant, you know. And that remnant is so that he don't destroy the whole nation. Yeah. Or else we'd be like unto uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Verse 12, it says, to whom thou hast spoken and promised that thou wouldest multiply their seed as the stars of heaven and as the sand that lies upon the seashore. For we, O Lord, are become less than any nation and be kept under this day in all the world because of our sins. Yep. Neither is there at this time prince or prophet or leader Burn up. Read that again. Yeah, do it. Neither is there at, at this time prince or prophet or leader or burnt offering or sacrifice or oblation or incense 
or a place to sacrifice before thee and to find